So what is going on guys, Mr. Simo for the win here, welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. So in today's video I'm probably going to be showing you guys one of the best ways to get XP in Black Ops 4 Zombies on the map Blood of the Dead. So for this glitch, to make it work effectively you can either have it solo or as a team glitch, I'm going to be showing this video as a team glitch. So the first thing you want to do is acquire the Blundergat, now you can either get this from the box or you can get it from collecting the five skulls across the map with a tomahawk. Now once you actually have the blunder gat, what you want to do is make sure whatever your second weapon is, in my case it's a pistol, you want to place it into the packer punch and simply leave it in there. Now once you leave it in there, you should just be left with a blunder gat. If that's the case, then you're on the right way to doing this glitch. The next thing you want to do is make your way over to the warden's office and from here, you simply want to place your blunder gat into the fireplace. Now before you actually place it into the fireplace, you want to make sure your specialist weapon, which should be the hellfire, is fully charged before doing this. If it isn't fully charged, you'll simply get a few kills and then place it in the fireplace. Now once you've done this, what should happen is you'll notice that you'll have an unlimited specialist weapon. Again, for this video, it should be the hellfire. So from here, what you want to do is follow the exact same route I do in the video. We're going to be going to the second dog location. So we're just coming back from the warden's office, we take it right up here and we are on the Broadway. Now as you'll notice on the left hand side of the corner, you'll notice there is like a little table. All you want to do is do a simple run and jump and crouch and you want to make sure you're on the left hand side of this. It's very important whoever's doing this glitch, if you're doing it as a team glitch, whoever goes in first must be the host. Now you'll know if you've done this glitch correctly because all the zombies will start piling up. Now you'll notice this glitch is very easy to get into but sometimes the zombies will hit you. It just simply means you didn't take enough run up, you just want to keep trying it until you get this glitch perfected. Now what you want to do is tell the second person to do the unlimited specialist glitch. Again, this is the footage from the second player. So now you can see we've placed the blundergat into the fireplace and now we have the flamethrower. Now what you want to do is get the second person to jump in the right hand side. Now usually if you do this on solo, it has to be the left hand side. But because the host is on the left hand side already, all the zombies would have completely ignored player number two and go towards the host. So that's why it's very important that the host gets in this glitch first and he goes all the way into the left hand side of the corner. Like I said, you might have a little error where you guys jump on this, you pretty much will land on it every single time. But you want to make sure you give yourself enough run up to get into this glitch because there's a very little sweet spot on this glitch which will make the zombies not hit you. So don't give up, it isn't patched, it did take a few tries for us as well, but you will get this glitch and it's definitely recommended to do so. So as you can see throughout the video, the zombies pile up, the wardens pile up. The only things that might give you a little bit of damage are the dogs, but nevertheless, if you have two people up here with a hellfire simply aiming at the floor, the dogs should not get anywhere near you anyway. Now the thing I like about this glitch is you could essentially just put an elastic band around your controller, leave it overnight and you will get endless rounds. This is such an OP glitch right here. You could literally go on forever. It would take a long time for the zombies to overpower the hellfire, especially since it's unlimited. So anyway guys, that is about it for today's video. If you did enjoy it in any way, shape or form, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.